Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hebrew ebook before it's gone. Tizaher lecha. Be careful. That's like, you're walking on thin ice, buddy. Be careful. Just a disclaimer. My parents never said those things to me because I was an amazing child. But I do have two brothers and, you know. Tiye b'sheket. Be quiet. I wish just everybody, right? Just everybody to be quiet. Titneg yafe. Behave. That's like, I think it's not such a bad thing to say. It's like, oh, well, you know, be nice. Even though your friend is a total weirdo, weirdo who eats his boogers, just be nice. Do your homework. No TV before you finish. Go to bed. Just a little bit of formaldehyde and just sound asleep. I'm going to count to three. And what? Like nobody ever follows that threat. Stop. Um, this stop is also like in traffic, like stop, just yeah. Mamata? What did you say? <laughs> um, this is like a classic passive aggressive mother of like like oh yeah, do you wanna say that again? You wanna say it to my face? Mm, yeah. Ani lots of it. I'm not kidding. Why would your child think you're kidding? Nobody, nobody's ever kidding. Turn the TV off now. I think probably today it's not so much the TV anymore as like iPad, iPhone. What is it, that thing? Nintendo? I, I don't know. The Switch? Yeah, the Nintendo Switch, yes. Put your Nintendo Switch down. Just they can just say, put that thing down. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Bechodshaya kites, ha temperatura be elat gvoha meod. In the summer months, the temperature is very high in a lot. That's true, it's a desert area, but also it's dry heat, so it's not as bad. It's very dry, so you don't sweat as much, but you do have to be careful not to dehydrate and also you know, protect yourself from the UV rays. Um, but it's nice. Yam Hamelach, Dead Sea. Yam Hamelach, the Dead Sea. Me Yam Hamelach Meluchim Meod. Dead Sea water is very salty. So in Hebrew, actually, the name is not the Dead Sea, but actually the Salt Sea, uh, which makes sense. It has an extremely high percent of salt and like phosphates, I guess, and other type of minerals. It's supposed to be very healthy for your body, unless you have any open wounds, which in that case, mm -mm. ow. But it is very healthy. The sun doesn't, they say that the, because it's so low beneath the sea level, that the sun doesn't hit there the same as other places, so we don't get as much UV um, as you do in places that are sea level or up, which somehow makes sense, but I wouldn't take the chance and I would still put on a lot of cream. Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. Be'yerushalayim chayim lemala mi shmonamot elef toshavim. There are more than 800,000 inhabitants living in Jerusalem. I guess so. Uh, I've never checked. It is a very interesting city. There is a lot to do there. Um, even if you're not into all the religious things, it's a nice place to visit, to hang around. They have some really awesome cafes, cool universities, cool subculture. Um, yeah, it's nice. Kineret, the Sea of Galilee. Kineret. The Sea of Galilee. Rachavnu sviv hakineret. We rode around the Sea of Galilee. Yeah, that's a, a very beautiful area right there. Um, I think one of my favorite places to go, if I want to go to like a resort in Israel, is around there. 
Um, even though down south at the desert they have really interesting stuff too. It's a lovely place. Unfortunately, sometimes it gets smaller and smaller because it doesn't rain so much in Israel sometimes, but it's okay. We're doing okay. It's fun. You can do like marine sports there too. Um, yeah, cool place. Machtesh Ramon. Machtesh Ramon. Machtesh Ramon. Machtesh Ramon. Machtesh Ramon hua machtesh agadol b'Yisrael. Machtesh Ramon is the largest crater in Israel. Honestly, I think it's also the largest natural crater in the world. I know that geologists go there all the time to do research and like seminars and stuff like that. It's supposed to be a super interesting place. I personally have never been, maybe because my parents were too concerned about my allergies, which it makes sense every time I go to the desert, they just flare up. Um, but it's an amazing place and you should visit. Metzada. Masada. Metzada. Masada. Le Metzada, sipur histori manien. Masada has an interesting historical story. Don't ask me about it. I'm not that good in history. I'm good in biology. Um, <laughs> but it is very interesting to go there. Um, you see a lot of things that were amazingly preserved because of the dry weather over there. It is in the desert. Every time I went, I got allergies again. Um, so I didn't went there a lot, but it is interesting. And sometimes you can also have amazing concerts there at night. And because of the ancient buildings and ancient, you know, ruins and you see all the lights and you get like this opera show or something, it's very intense. Caesarea, 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 Caesarea. Be Caesarea notus redim rabim mitkufat romaim. In Caesarea, there are many relics from the Roman era. That's true, it's also another very interesting historical place. It's also very beautiful, very romantic. Some people get married there. Um, there is, I think, even a golf course somewhere around there. They have a lot of very expensive neighborhood that um, there are the homes of the richest people in Israel. And it's a beautiful place. Yeah, you should go, definitely. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv hi ir modernit vetoseset. Tel Aviv is a modern, vibrant city. Yeah, well, that's my favorite place in Israel, obviously. This is where I was born and raised. It's a beautiful place. It's an awesome place. There's lots to do. Great food. A lot of hipsters. I love hipsters. Um, and yeah, it's great. If you want to have fun, go to parties, go to the beach, meet new people. Um, that's the place. Yafo. Jaffa. Yafo. Jaffa. Yafo hi ir namal atika. Jaffa is an old port city. So actually Tel Aviv and Jaffa are the same jurisdiction, it's the same city. Um, Yafo is beautiful, there are many things to do there. Um, the flea market and the beach and Andromeda's what rock and you have some restaurants there and you have the old city and I remember actually, beautiful memory, when I was in the second grade, we had like um, a sunrise tour. So it started like around 3 a.m. We started walking through the streets of Old Town Jaffa and then we like stood on some hill somewhere and saw the sunrise and it was amazing. It was my first time for me in my life to see the sunrise. It was beautiful. Sdeboker. 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 משדה בוקר ניתן לצאת לטיולים במדבר. From שדה בוקר you can go on desert hikes. Everything that I can't do, desert and hikes. Um, it is a, an interesting place. The first prime minister of Israel used to live there, so you can see the little hut, shack, that he used to live in. It teaches you a lesson about modesty and, you know, being satisfied with only having you know, small place to live, small things, not nothing fancy. Um, yeah. Livchor Yad, to choose your destination. Livchor Yad, to choose your destination. Kvar bacharta yad latiyul? Have you chosen your destination yet? What's your next destination to travel? I think mine would probably be Australia or Spain. Either way. 
לקנות מדריך טיולים. To buy a guidebook. לקנות מדריך טיולים. To buy a guidebook. קניתי מדריך טיולים עם המלצות מצוינות. I bought a guidebook with excellent recommendations. When I had my, like, my trip to Thailand after I finished the army, I was 21, that was six years ago, I still used, like, a book from one of those really famous companies that do, like, guidebooks. But now, wherever I go, I don't even use a book anymore. I just use the internet. And even when I'm at the place, I use the internet for, like, recommendations, and I use Yelp. So it's amazing, like, in less than 10 years, like, just six years, how things have changed. Um, that's pretty unbelievable. לחסוך כסף. To save money. לחסוך כסף. To save money. אני חוסכת כסף כבר שנתיים. I'm saving money for two years now. Um, well, I guess that depends where you want to go. Maybe some places you don't have to save as much money, or maybe if it's just a short trip. You should be comfortable when you travel and have enough money to spend on things that you want and have nice dinners. And so it's better to have it more further apart, I guess, and just... Be okay with the money, then like go every year and just be like very skimgy about it. That's my opinion. Lehazmin tisa, to book a flight. Lehazmin tisa, to book a flight. Hezmanti tisa yashira le Tel Aviv. I booked a direct flight to Tel Aviv. Um, I don't want to like throw shade, but choose the companies that you fly with, the airlines that you fly with, carefully. Levarer odot aluyot. To research the costs. לברר אודות עלויות. To research the costs. האם ביררת אודות עלויות מזון ולינה? Have you already researched accommodation and food costs? So yeah, that's like super important. Sometimes you go to places and you don't realize how much money you're going to spend on food. Accommodations you usually know because you order it in advance in most places. But with food, just... can be a, can be a mystery. להזמין מקומות לינה. To book accommodations. להזמין מקומות לינה. To book accommodations. בעונת התיירות חשוב להזמין מקומות לינה מראש. During the touristic season, it's important to book accommodations ahead. Oh, that's very true. Of course, now it might be a bit easier with like Airbnb and stuff like that. But still, like, When there is no place to sleep, there is no place to sleep. לחדש דרכון. To renew your passport. לחדש דרכון. To renew your passport. אם הדרכון פג תוקף, חשוב לחדש אותו. If your passport is expired, it's important to renew it. It happened to me, some countries request for at least six months um, left on your passport before you go, like... If you have five months before it's expired or like four or less than that, you won't be able to enter the country. And I didn't know that for some place and that happened to me. It's really bad. So even if you have like another six months left on your passport, renew it anyway. Leroz. To pack. Leroz. To pack. אני מתכננת לארוז בלילה לפני הטיסה. I'm planning to pack on the night before the flight. Well, if you're very used to it, then that, that's not a problem. But if you're not using to pack your things, maybe you should start before and not just the night before you go. Some people have like an already made list of the things that they always take with them. But people who don't travel quite as much, they don't have it. So don't do it like just the night before. Like plan ahead, guys, okay? And don't just throw anything in the luggage anyway, okay? Like this is re- no. Put it in an orderly fashion, please, please. לרכוש ביטוח נסיעות. To buy travel insurance. לרכוש ביטוח נסיעות. To buy travel insurance. לכל צרה שלא תבוא, כדאי לרכוש ביטוח נסיעות. For any travel, it's better to buy travel insurance. I have to admit I don't usually do that. Unless I go for a really long time. But I don't usually do that. להוציא ויזה. To get a visa. להוציא ויזה. To get a visa. לארצות מסוימות צריך להוציא ויזה מראש. For several countries you must get a visa in advance. 
especially the US, I think that's a super long process. So you should start doing that at least six months before you plan on going. Some other places too, I guess. Just make sure like what are the demands of that, of your destination country from your passport country, I guess. אני מדמיין שיום אחד אבקר או אגור במדינה הזו. I imagine that one day I will visit or live in Israel. אני מדמיין שיום אחד אבקר או אגור במדינה הזו. אני מדמיין שיום אחד אבקר או אגור במדינה הזו. I imagine that one day I will visit or live in Israel. If you do, that's great. Or at least visit, that's really nice. Um, it is a lovely place to visit. And it does motivate you to learn more because if you think that you can communicate with the local people, then it'll be much more fun. And I know from experience, like once you get there, it's harder than it seems and you kind of get all shy and it's hard to speak, but open up. You know, Israelis, they don't really care if you speak bad Hebrew. As long as you speak Hebrew, that's really nice. I also מה שהופך את למידת השפה ליותר מתגמלת. I study other aspects of the culture too, which makes it more rewarding to study Hebrew. אני לומד גם היבטים אחרים של התרבות. מה שהופך את למידת השפה ליותר מתגמלת. אני לומד גם היבטים אחרים של התרבות. מה שהופך את למידת השפה ליותר מתגמלת. I study other aspects of the culture too, which makes it more rewarding to study Hebrew. Um, yeah, I mean, I think language and culture go hand in hand, and once you learn more about the language, you can know more about the culture and vice versa. Um, so, of course, it makes it more rewarding, especially if you're getting to more like intermediate or advanced levels. Uh, that's definitely important, and it's really inseparable. I love to find words that I learn. I like to find funny words in Hebrew. אני אוהב למצוא מילים מצחיקות בשפה שאני לומד. אני אוהב למצוא מילים מצחיקות בשפה שאני לומד. I like to find funny words in Hebrew. There are plenty of those. Just one example, right? The word for teapot is kumkum. I mean, come on. <laughs> Broomstick is matate. Matate. To fund. is lemamen. It's three mems. Lemamen. Lemamen. אני מתחבר עם אנשים שמדברים את השפה. I make friends with people who speak Hebrew. אני מתחבר עם אנשים שמדברים את השפה. אני מתחבר עם אנשים שמדברים את השפה. I make friends with people who speak Hebrew. Uh, that's always a good thing to make new friends no matter what. And especially if you can practice some language with them, because you know what, when I was in high school, I used to study fr uh, French. And I was really good, but I didn't speak it to anybody. And now I kind of forgot everything. So that's a shame, isn't it? YouTube I watch YouTube videos of other people who have successfully learned Hebrew. I watch YouTube videos of other people who have successfully learned Hebrew. יוטיוב של אנשים שהצליחו ללמוד עברית. I watch YouTube videos of people who have successfully learned Hebrew. Yeah, that's really awesome because you can have like an inside information or insights about, you know, the struggles and how to learn better and really like kind of hacks on how to learn faster. Um, so if you find them, go ahead, do it. It's really good. So if you find anything interesting or something that you know of that's really good, uh, please link them in the comments below so other people could go there and have a look too and learn something. I enjoy using Hebrew to order at Israeli restaurants. I like using Hebrew to order in Israeli restaurants. Um, if you're going to Israeli restaurants abroad, like outside of Israel, most chances are that people there are from Israel, so you can kind of brush your Hebrew up and practice. Um, and obviously in Israel, that's a good opportunity to use it as well. Um, I live abroad as well, and 
one of the main places when I use my language skills is actually in restaurants and taxis. So yeah. אני רואה סרטים ותוכניות טלוויזיה, ונהנה מתחושת הסיפוק כשאני מבין מילה או משפט. I watch Hebrew movies and TV shows, and enjoy the feeling when I can understand a word or a sentence. אני רואה סרטים ותוכניות טלוויזיה, ונהנה מתחושת הסיפוק כשאני מבין מילה או משפט. אני רואה סרטים ותוכניות טלוויזיה, ונהנה מתחושת הסיפוק כשאני מבין מילה או משפט. I watch Hebrew movies and TV shows and enjoy the feeling when I can understand a word or a sentence. Um, yeah, this is really fun. I, I know the feeling. It's actually really satisfac- satisfactory. Um, the word for that, it's in the Hebrew sentence as well. That's sipuk. Sipuk is satisfaction. Um, and yeah, you really do feel it, when, especially when you're watching TV because people always talk so fast, you know? אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. I'll read the Bible in its original language. אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. I will read the Bible in its original language. אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. I will read the Bible in its original language. Um, yeah, that's a good goal, even though the Bible is quite, I mean, it's ancient Hebrew, it's not easy. Uh, but it's a good challenge, at least for starters, especially if you know, like, the famous phrases, if you know them in your own language, you can compare. Um, so you can kind of defer the meaning, I mean, you can understand pretty much. Um, the word for Bible in Hebrew is actually an acronym. The word is Tanakh, and it means Torah. נביאים נ כתובים. The kaf becomes chaf and it becomes ta na ch. It's the Bible. אני צופה בסרטונים על מקומות תיירותיים בישראל. I watch videos of Israeli tourist places. אני צופה בסרטונים על מקומות תיירותיים בישראל. אני צופה בסרטונים על מקומות תיירותיים בישראל. I watch videos of Israeli tourist places. There are many of those in Israel, many tourist spots, many um, important historical landmarks. If you, if you were to see just one place, one famous landmark in Israel, I would say go to the Dead Sea. Even though it's not an historical landmark, it's extremely beautiful. Like you're driving for hours and hours in a desert that doesn't have anything growing. It's just stones and like... All you can see is sand, and then all of a sudden there's like this big lake of water. And obviously you can't drink this water, but it's still beautiful. And you have like the Dead Sea mud, and people are kind of tanning, and they're floating on the water, like reading a newspaper and sitting on the water because it's so buoyant. Um, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's super buoyant. Like if you, if you lift your knee, I did that. <laughs> I picked up my knee because I wanted to make a big step, and I just kneed myself in the face. I just, you just want to take a big step and you're just, uh, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Be careful. I cook Israeli food. I cook Israeli food. Israeli food is very versatile. There are a lot of types of Israeli food. Um, and it's quite healthy. I mean, usually the ingredients are quite fresh. It's not over-processed. Um, it's not overcooked or anything. It's just a very good, clean, fresh, local kitchen, um, which is great. Lehanik, to breastfeed. Lehanik, to breastfeed. Lehanik hi peula shegever leolam lo yuchal argish. No man would understand how it feels to breastfeed. Yeah. I guess not. Maybe technology someday, you know, maybe. להחליף חיתול. To change a diaper. להחליף חיתול. To change a diaper. שני ההורים צריכים לדעת איך להחליף חיתול. Both parents should know how to change a diaper. Duh. להלביש סינר. 
to put on a bib. להלביש סינר. To put on a bib. תראה איך הוא מלכלך את החולצה. תלביש לו סינר. Look how he's messing his shirt. Put a bib on him. It all goes to the laundry anyways, whatever. You're gonna change his clothes ten times a day anyway, no? להחליף בגדים. To change clothes. להחליף בגדים. To change clothes. אין דבר. נחליף לו בגדים אחר כך. It's okay. We'll change his clothes later. It's exactly what I said. לשיר שיר ארס. To sing a lullaby. לשיר שיר ארס. To sing a lullaby. הילד שלי לא נרדם מבלי ששרים לו שיר ארס. My kid doesn't fall asleep without a lullaby. My dad used to sing me lullabies when I was like a kid, and he chose the most horrific songs, and he thought I wouldn't understand like the words that he sang or the lyrics, but I did, and I was traumatized, and I'm still afraid of clowns till this day. So yeah. It was about like a clown in the circus, and his father was... Um, a contortionist, and then one day he fell off the trapeze and broke his neck, but the, the kid who was a clown had to keep on smiling because that was his job, but nobody knew that he was crying from inside. It's just horrible. Shemesh ola yoret gam halel Achal eitzan od mamshich vetzohel Shivers. Okay, guys, that's it. This was top 10 phrases to know when having a baby. Let me know in the comments below, do you have a baby? Um, if you have like a funny story about being a new parent. I am not a parent yet, so I think maybe it could help me out. And don't forget to check out HebrewPod 101 for more Hebrew, more content. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Just buy baby food. Why make baby food? Just, it comes in a little can. Tastes good, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs>